So today I'm talking about a P0031 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0031 code? Well, it's an HO2S heater control circuit low bank one sensor one. And what does this mean? Well, basically there's what's called oxygen sensors and they're located down on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor the catalytic converter. And the second thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And the computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. But when you get a P0031 code, the computer's seeing some kind of problem with one of these sensors, mainly the bank one sensor 102 sensor. And so it's gonna to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And if you have a V6 or V8 engine, the engine's gonna have two banks. Bank one side of the engine is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you find the number one cylinder on your engine, that's gonna be bank one. And the opposite of that would be bank two. Bank one side of the engine is the side of the engine the computer's seeing a problem with. The location of the number one cylinder can vary. It can depend on the engine. So be sure to Google your engine and look up the firing order or cylinder location since it can vary. If you have a four cylinder engine, then it wouldn't matter because it'd only be one bank. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0031 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is that that bank one sensor one O2 sensors just failed. It just needs to be replaced. These O2 sensors are going to have two parts built into them. The first part is going to be monitoring how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And the second part of it is going to have a heater element built into it. And basically these O2 sensors are reporting back to the computer how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And the computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. And when it does this, it goes into what's called a closed loop. When the engine first starts up and it's cold, it's operating in what's called an open loop where the computer is using other sensors and just guessing what the air fuel ratio mixture should be going into the cylinders. But once everything warms up and that O2 sensor warms up, it starts reporting to the computer the exact amount of oxygen that was burnt off. And so the computer can fine tune the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. And this makes the engine run very well. But until that O2 sensor warms up, it's going to be in an open loop. It won't be in a closed loop. So to make everything go into this closed loop quicker, they built in a heater element inside of those O2 sensors. In this way, everything goes into a closed loop much quicker and the whole engine's running very well, much faster, and there's less emissions and different things like this. And when you get this P0031 code, the computer's seeing that there's a problem with that heater element that's built into that O2 sensor. Oh, and so you can't test it if you want to. Basically that heater element that's built into those O2 sensors is kind of like a light bulb. If it burns out, then it just doesn't work no more. You can't find out what the rated ohms are for that specific O2 sensor, but usually when they go bad, they just burn out and they're not good no more. So you can use a multimeter to check it for resistance using ohms and just check to see if it has burnt out. It's very common with these O2 sensors that the same two colored wires is for the heater element and then the mismatch wires are going to the O2 sensor side. It can be a good idea to get a wiring diagram for your specific vehicle to know for sure what's going on but it is very common for the same two colored wires to be for the heater element and the two mismatch wires to be going to the O2 sensor side. So you can go test that bank one sensor one O2 sensor and check to see if it has gone bad. But the first thing that's gonna cause this is a bad bank one sensor one O2 sensor. And the next thing that could cause this is there's some kind of wiring issue going on. There's like an open, there's a short somewhere, something along these lines. So if that O2 sensor tests good and you know that's not the problem, then the next thing to go and do is to go and check out the wiring going to the O2 sensor. And again, you will need to get a wiring diagram for your specific vehicle to know what's going on inside the wiring and different things like this. It is very common for 12 volts to be going to that heater element. But again, be sure to get a wiring diagram for your specific vehicle to know for sure. And also keep in mind that these could be on a fuse or even a relay. And if that fuse blows or that relay goes bad, then that's gonna cause problems. Sometimes it can be kind of confusing on which fuse it is or if there is a relay or what's going on. But, but for example, right here, this is listed AF heater. That's going to be for that O2 sensor. And over here, it's labeled AF heater. That's the relay for that O2 sensor heater element. But like I said, sometimes it can be kind of confusing on which one it is or what's going on. So you're likely going to have to do some research on your specific vehicle to know for sure what's happening. But the next thing that's going to cause this is some kind of wiring issue. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0031 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.